Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter in Chicago Business Today chasing jobs. With unemployment stuck near 10% nationwide, states are frantically chasing jobs, especially in manufacturing. Other states are trying to capitalize on Illinois' fiscal crisis and are trying to woo companies to move their headquarters and their operations elsewhere. Indiana recently hired a second staffer to recruit Chicago area companies and Kenosha County, Wisconsin is doubling marketing spending this year with a focus on Illinois. Crane senior reporter John Pletz wrote the story in this week's Cranes and sat down with me to talk about it. John, over the past decade or so, Chicago has definitely lost some corporate headquarters. Earlier this decade, it was either because of a merger or because a company went under. But now we're talking about losing companies in the state because of our fiscal crisis. What's going on here? Well, the other states around us have, have always tried to grab companies here. But what they see is an opportunity with the state's budget crisis, nobody knowing if or how much of a tax increase there's going to be. They see an opportunity to, to lure some companies away. Sure. What are some recent examples uh, that you wrote about in your story? You mentioned, you know, one company, UGN, for example. Right. It's Tinley Park Company. They've got plants in Illinois, Kentucky, and Indiana. And, you know, the folks in Indiana threw some incentives at them, and so they're adding 30 jobs over in Valparaiso. Um, but what we're hearing most is that, uh, you know, these, these companies, these border states see an opportunity. Sure, absolutely. One of the major things we'll be watching here locally is the headquarters of the new Motorola Mobility. How hard do you think Illinois is going to work to keep their headquarters here in this area? Well, the, the state says it's very hard. You know, they've put together a package. Uh, they don't want to lose this one, much like Navistar, uh, U.S. Cellular, any of the deals that, that they've had recently, uh, the state is, does not want to lose any headquarters. What is the state saying? Do they acknowledge that our fiscal problems and the prospect of higher taxes is going to be a detriment to luring companies here? The state doesn't see it that way. They, they claim that uh, no one has come to them saying this, their fiscal condition is a reason for them not to do an expansion or a reason they're worried about expanding here in the state of Illinois. Their rivals, on the other hand, say that they've got more, more companies willing to listen than they have in the past. Illinois has managed to, to win the game a couple of times, though, we should note, uh, in the example of, of U.S. Cellular, right, and, and Navistar. For sure. They have used some incentive packages very effectively. They've retained some jobs. They've won some new jobs. So, yeah, the, it's, it's not uh, that they aren't without ability to keep, uh, to keep some companies, but, you know, the, it's a tough game. It's not so much of, of luring a whole new company here, but keeping the ones here and, and keeping the growth in those companies here as well, perhaps in the case of, of Ford or, or Chrysler, right, which expanded. Right. It's, a, it's not a zero-sum game anymore. It's not uh, as if companies are so much picking up and moving operations. What you're really fighting for is getting them to expand. And what you're seeing in many cases is we can put 50 jobs here, 100 jobs here. We have plants in both states. That's what they're fighting for right now. And that's what you saw with Navistar. As much as their headquarters, it was uh, where's the next expansion going to happen? And they ended up even moving uh, a research and development center from Indiana, right, right. To, to the suburbs here. So that was a real exactly. win for the state as well. And, and that was the case with, uh, with Olin Brass. That was a loss to Kentucky. A uh, company down in uh, East Alton had facilities in both states. Uh, Kentucky threw some incentives at the company, and they decided, well, we'll do our expansion in Kentucky, and we'll move our headquarters. Okay. Well, John, good story this week. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks. And that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. To read John's story, be sure to check out this week's print edition of Cranes or chicagobusiness.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.